you yourself as a psd youtube channel please subscribe channel for more videos and to get the more knowledge on sap psd today we are discussing about sap tricks and tips okay this will helps to the end users as well as consultants okay so here i noted some points here okay we'll see the how we can activate this all functionalities in sap okay now first one is activate to upload the files in sales order okay for example i'm i'm taking on sales order if you see here i don't have any option to upload any data right here you can before change return you can see option okay i don't have any option but i need to upload some important documents related to this alert this order okay how we can do that go to system user profile own data parameters okay here add sd underscore s w e underscore active okay so maintain x here save so after add this one save now i'm going to order again any one order okay now we see the option previously we don't have this option now we get this option so now i uploading some files here so this option we need to activate each and every id okay this is my id right uh, user uh, user 83 user 9 so if i one more user is there 83 user 8 so each and every id we need to activate it, it will not same for all the users okay create attachment so i am uploading some important files so i am uploading this file this is a man important to us this is related to the this order i uploaded that file now i am saving okay now i am going to again change mode or display mode of order so after one week after three weeks the uh, manager you want to see the uh, documents related to the sales order you will go like this okay you will see the attachments okay one attachment is there so you will activate the you will see that you you will refer that uh, document okay you will refer that document so like that you will refer okay so we can activate like this the next one so this this activation we have to do for each and every id okay we have to do for each and every id each and every id each and every user we have to go to like that user profile own data okay parameter this we need to activate sd underscore sw underscore active okay the next one direct delivery or billing creation from sales order okay from sales order so this is this may be helps to the end users while creating sales order if you see i am creating sales order usually uh, how we are doing delivery just we are saving the sales order okay we are saving sales order we are going to the t code vl01 and okay there we are entering order number ship to party everything we enter we are saving right okay uh, so instead of do like this you can do directly from here go to sales document whether you can go to change mode or uh, uh, create mode in both place we can do at a time if it's order related billing okay if it is a order related billing we need to click the billing order billing if it's a delivery billing we need to click the delivery okay now i'm clicking the delivery so don't need to go vl09 directly it will go like this okay this is shortcut okay to create the delivery shortcut okay like that we can do the delivery okay you can do it directly from the change mode also we can do go to change mode of the sales order sales document delivery okay this is a shortcut so it is a in case it is a in order related billing means order billing directly you can do the billing if it is a billing related okay this is the second one next to change table fields description to fill technical name okay this will be helps to the consultants and end users this 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 everything is we can use for uh, we, it will helps to the end user consult both we can use that see here for example sc69 so here i am passing vba key table if you see here document type see this there okay now i am executing 
here if you see a header you can see the description we are seeing right but i want to see the technical name actually i want to find some uh, i i aware on the technical name but i am not aware on the field name i am not aware on the field name but i need to find what the technical or the uh, description i mean the name i where i am not aware i aware on the technical name so i need to check by technical name okay i need to check by technical name in that case what we have to do go to system sorry go to go back not here go back here go to extras change settings okay here click on technical names as a column headlining okay save now execute now you can see we'll get the technical names okay instead of instead of description we are getting technical name okay so if you don't want technical name you can remove just to go to change mode of setting uncheck save okay so or else uh, you want to see the uh, field length okay data element everything you want to see in that case go to extras activate technical view okay activate technical view you can see this field uh, this field length okay uh, everything your data element data type everything you can able to see here okay so you can uh, you can off uh, say both option activate and you can unactivate both options is there okay like that we can do so maybe some systems we don't have option okay in case you need to upload the file bulk you need to upload you have thousand orders so we have the direct copy paste we can uh, copy the orders from excel you can paste here you, instead of entering one by one like this okay one by one like this you can copy a uh, thousand orders um, from the sales order um, from excel if you click on this automatically copy okay automatically copy maybe if you don't have option here okay go to sc16 okay sc16 okay go to xc16 you here you can uh, you, we have the option okay in case some some systems uh, we don't have option in sc16 and okay to upload to copy paste bulk orders whatever is that any bulk data we need to paste it is not possible some system in that case we have to come sc16 okay instead of sc16 you have to come sc16 okay this is the one more shortcut one more trick to view technical names to view technical names for example see here now i am creating customer okay xj01 right flash and xj01 now i am creating customer here before name we are getting the id right before name we are getting id right we are getting id and and if i am going to invoice creating invoice here also before name we can see, we can able to see the id okay so but some system maybe this id is not displaying just name only will get so in that case what we have to do go to this this icon system icon click on option okay interaction design visualization one here maybe they have like this okay maybe they have like this okay maybe some systems have like this they don't have they before name they're not able to see f2 it is we are aware and what is the invoice f2 but there is no f2 here okay so i am creating customer i know account group as a triple zero one but i am not able to see triple zero one here so in this case what we have to do go click on this icon options visualization here interact like it will be like this interaction design visualization one controls just call, uh, click on check these two options click on apply okay okay now we can see xj01 now we have the options before name we have the option okay same like that anywhere wherever options is available it will come okay we can see in vf01 also so wherever the technical names required it will display okay is a technical view and change the color settings so here one more uh, one more thing is in real time we have three system development quality and production okay by mistake sometimes in case some small scale in, uh, small uh, scale industries 
we have authorization to create the order deliveries also in production okay okay in that case maybe by mistake uh, the uh, chance is there to create the orders in quality and uh, production so i need to whenever i see in the screen it has i need immediately i need to get okay immediately i need to uh, get that uh, i need to, immediately it has to blink it is a production it is a development it is a quality how i know that means i'm going to the colors click on the options okay visualization visual design color setting so if you change here so it will impact to the all the okay uh, enter the development in development i have two uh, two clients 100 clients 110 client 110 client i want to one color 100 client want to, you can, so then you can you have to check the uh, client wise you have to select here okay so now i am not required it is entire uh, entire development i need only one color means okay you can go like this so development so i am going green color okay development i am i am taking green color here not required will applicable as it is okay now if you see let me log in again see green color is coming green color is coming so so okay development green color so quality so next i will so each and every system you need to open okay next we have to open quality system okay next we have to open quality system in that quality system same you have to go here icon options okay visual design color settings it is a quality system so quality i'm going purple okay quality i'm going bubble okay next production system production system i'm going red color or right. it is a dangerous system so it is a red color so if you change the system wise if you change the color so we immediately we can, uh, will be uh, whenever we are doing that some changes in system okay we immediately we get the uh, idea i mean we get the thought okay this red color maybe this production we, we shouldn't touch okay it is a purple color okay it is a quality so it is a green color it is a development so maybe color wise okay we can uh, we have the idea okay whether it is a which system with the development or quality or production so color also we can change next theme okay this is the one more confusion to the end users and the consultants so what this means so here i'm um, changing color as it is the old one i want default configuration color okay what the second one is uh themes so some systems if you observe okay some systems how they will be themes click on the theme settings so some systems maybe they have the different theme it will be like this right some system in s4 and some other systems so i am selecting some other thing so signature classic theme i am selected okay classic theme i selected so now i am logging again so maybe client is asking uh, end users my screen is different your screen is different why okay how to change my screen okay like that if someone asking we can change see previously it is it is it is spelled like this now it is options is like this okay some difference is there okay user is asking i don't want this theme i need a, a different theme as a signature theme okay so in that case okay how we have to do here we have the option here try right, to change the themes but for this one we have the option here okay we have the option here so here go to themes so here check in your system what is your theme so your theme is signature change end user theme also to signature now i'm logging in okay okay like that we can change themes okay like that we can change the theme next quick copy paste okay so for example if you see i am creating the order okay i am creating the order if you see in here and i enter the customer everything i enter 
so material i enter the material this is my material the same material i need to enter again so again i have to do i have to copy this i have to paste here okay i have to do i have to paste here so like that i i need to do so so we have one more option copy quick paste okay if you activate this just click on that that's it just click on that okay now just if you if you do like this automatically it will copy don't need to control c okay it will copy automatically see automatically it will copy okay now i am i'm not clicking control c here just i'm just i'm selecting everything i'm pasting okay so if i stop this okay if i stop this so it will not copy now i am pasting so let me copy this one i copied see it is not pasting whatever it is not pasting whatever previously copied is same it is pasting okay if you want to copy quick paste click activate this okay next how to set favorite tick codes maybe end users they have the uh, in real time maybe some end user their responsibility create the only uh, quotations some resp some people responsible only order some people delivery some people invoice like that each and every person they have the separate tick codes okay in that case what we have to do we have to enter va01 some tickets we can remember easily some tickets we, we, it is not possible to remember maybe a lot of tickets is there in that case what we have to do we can make it as a favorite like for example i'm going to say uh, logistics sales and sales and distribution sales inquiry so this is the inquiry creation right select that click on favorite so it will comes under favorite okay so instead of going uh, instead of going this path and clicking this so directly you can click on favorite it will go like this okay the name also we can change click on the this one icon you can change i am changing to v11 okay so instead of going this path okay directly if you click on this it will go okay the t codes like that we can make it as a favorite t codes so you can remove that one also you can make it and we can remove sap standard inbox so we have some standard inbox is a messages so for example this is the icon so i need to send some message to the some some message to the my colleague okay just click on new just a typing title hi whatever you want to tell you can tell recipient so id so this is id sap you need to enter sap ids so my sap id is 83 user right 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 so i am entering 83 recipient 83 user 8 i am entering so if i send okay if i send the mail will go to the the sap 8 user okay the mail will go to maybe if you get some mails from someone you can see here so hundred mails okay hundred documents out out box same like our message in a uh, outlook okay so this is the tricks and drips so whatever i wear everything i made one video maybe it will help to your uh, real time okay one second thank you all for watching the videos please subscribe channel for more videos and to get the molar journey sapsd thank you all